This is homework number 34. It's a Desmos activity. It's made up of 14 slides. I'm going to work through the first eight, uh, and then the remaining six slides will have some of uh, some problems that are very similar to the first eight. So as a recap, before spring break, we were working on slope intercept form, um, and that was y equals m x plus b. And y equals mx plus b was that um, m, uh, the variable m, represented the slope. So we're going to go to our graph, and we're going to find m, our slope, or rise over run. And we're also going to find b, which is the y-intercept. In fact, it might be best to start with b, the y-intercept, which is where the line crosses the y-axis. And so that is at negative 3. So we're going to go into our equation, and we're going to set that to be negative 3. Uh, next, we're going to figure out what our m or slope is. So we're going to go on our graph, and we're going to find another point on the graph, like there, or there, or there. These are points that are on the corner of the grid and on the orange line. And if we find a couple of them, they should be equally spaced. Then we're going to draw in our slope triangle, and we're going to count out our slope. So it is down 1 and right 1, 2, 3. Four. All right, so we're going to go in here, and we'll now edit this. And it was down 1 and over 4. And what we should see is a line that overlaps the existing line. There it is. We'll press Submit. All right, slide 2, but feel free to pause the video. Slide 2, we're doing the same thing. We're going to build the equation slope-intercept form. We're going to start by finding the y-intercept, which is 1. And then we're going to find another point on the graph. There's one. Oh, there's one. There's one. And between two of them, any two, we're going to count our rise over run. And our rise is two, and our run is one, and it is a positive slope. So here we go. Our equation is y equals rise two over a run of 1, x. You could also just make that uh, 2x without the 1 on the bottom, it doesn't matter. And then plus in the y-intercept at the very beginning, we said was 1. It crosses the y-axis at 1. How about slide 2? Positive slope, and also coincidentally a positive y-intercept. Slide 3, we're going to build the equation. This is what was called a horizontal line and it crosses uh, the y-axis at negative 1. And this point here is 3, negative 1. And this point here is 6, negative 1. And what do all these points have in common? All these points have a y-value of negative 1. And this is also our special lines on the word wall and on our graphic organizer. Remember, it's opposite of what the y-axis looks like. Slide four. Oops, let's actually go back and press submit. All right, slide four. This is a vertical. It's going to be opposite. It's going to be x equals, and the x number is four. Again, look at the word wall, and there it is. It should overlap or draw on that. Slide five. We want to write the equation line that passes through the points 2, negative 3, which is there, and 2, 4, which is there. So if we want a line that goes through 2, negative 3, and 2, 4, it's going to need to be vertical. And excuse the fact that this isn't perfect. I'm doing this with my finger. I don't have a stylus, but you get the idea. And it is vertical x equals and the x value that these all have is 2. And there's my graph. Press Submit. We're on to slide 6. We only have three more. We're going to write the equation line that has 0 slope and goes to the point negative 3, 5. And 0 slope, meaning like this, horizontal. And let's also go to this and mark another spot. Oops is right there, and that spot is our y-intercept. 
And so this is a y equals 5. There's our line. Horizontal, opposite of what the y-axis looks like. We might also remember that we can actually put this if we wanted to. Um, but we usually did not put 0x. It's actually best to put it this way. It's more simple or simplified. Slide 7. <clears throat> We're going to graph this line. We're going to start at our y-intercept, which is 3. There it is. And our slope is negative 2. Whoops over one and try to get rid of that, there we go. We're gonna, we're gonna stay at our y-intercept of three and we're gonna rise down two and right one and we're gonna mark a dot. We're gonna rise down two and right one and mark our dot. So here's our line. Backtrack it to. All right, it is steep, um, it is negative, and it had a y intercept of three. Last slide, slide eight, and then you're going to do the other slides and look back at these ones for hints. x equals four means go to where x is four, which is about there. It's off just a little bit. And we're going to draw a line, and we don't go all the way over to the right at 4 to just draw a horizontal line. We go over there to draw a vertical line. Look at that graphic organizer on the back. And x equals 4 was the weirdest of them all because it also went with an undefined slope. And it also went with a y-intercept of none. This did not have a y-intercept.